So what's going to make this section difficult? All the right hand rules. Yeah. Definitely yeah. puts a challenge in there. What else is, else is going to make this section difficult? Lots of situations, you know. You've got the magnetic field due, you know, around a wire. You've got the torque due to the magnetic field operating on a current carrying loop. So you've got the magnetic field at the center of a circular current carrying loop. You've got the magnetic field at the center of a solenoid. So you've got force on a wire, force on a moving charge. So you've got lots of different equations, each with their own special applications, and then lots of different right hand rules to go with a lot of them. So it's a super huge pain in the butt. So but work a plethora of examples. Do you guys have to memorize these equations? Probably not. Not so much. So that's the problem. So you don't have to memorize the equations, but you do have to know which right hand rule goes with which. And that's the, the bugger of it. So, you know, finding the right equation. And again, you should at least have some idea that, okay, what's it take for, a, you know, something to feel a, a magnetic force? Well, charge and velocity, which is, explains why a current carrying wire also feels a force and stuff like that. But after you fill those two forces, everything else in the chapter is really about the magnetic field generated by this or that. Cool. I don't have a Soka Toa like that. You know, you mean the equations, you mean the right hand rules? Right hand. The right hand rules, I don't, but if you notice, we kept the right hand rules pretty uniform with fingers and magnetic field, thumb with velocity of the charge or current, direction of current, which would be the velocity of the charge. And so we kept it pretty consistent with that right up until the end here, where here, when you have a circular loop, then your fingers go with the current. And again, this is not a circular loop, but it's a bunch of circular loops and same thing. Cool. And those would be the two big exceptions. Cool. And sometimes we don't even show you a right hand rule for these. We just expect you to look at this and be like, okay, so if the current points this direction right here, then at the center, it would be out of the board, out of the board, out of the board, out of the board, and just work your way around and realize, oh, everywhere it would be out of the board right there. But it's just really easy to do this.